first, we consider a very big and rather old biological problem of how very long chromatin fiber, which involves literally two meters of DNA, how is it packed in a 10 micron or so nucleus of a living cell without catastrophic entanglement. The other topic that we review is topological constraints in polymers, and our philosophy is to explore what are the consequences of the simple fact that polymers, two polymers, cannot easily cross each other. What are the consequences of this fact for the packing of chromatin uh, material? It is similar to the role of gravity for the apple trees in the old joke where apples fall from the uh, branches of apple trees, not because of any special biological uh, mechanism, but simply because of gravity. In the cell, every chromosome occupies its own territory and chromosomes do not penetrate each other. This is to be contrasted with a simple naive experiment which everyone can do at home by buying spaghettis of two different colors and cooking them together. Spaghettis do penetrate each other. How do spaghettis mix and how do DNAs, chromatin fibers, do not mix? That is a question. And the answer, which we suggest and which seems to be very plausible, is that this is because there are topological constraints. Topologically constrained spaghetti would not mix and would form territories. Particularly, a rich set of observations was done by a method called chromosome capture developed by Job Decker and his co-workers. In this method, people measure probabilities of different genetic loci in the chromatin to be next to each other in three-dimensional space. This is extremely powerful and extremely rich source of information about chromosome uh, structures. These space filling curves are very much similar to the conformations of crumpled globules, and therefore they are to some extent similar to what is observed in DNA by chromosome capture methods. It is all connected to one field, biology of chromosome capture experiments, physics of crumpled and fractal conformations of topologically restricted polymers, and mathematics of self-similar space filling curves. The end of one spaghetti, like a needle, goes between other spaghettis and threads all the spaghetti through one another. For chromatin, because chromatin fibers are so very long, this reputation process would take thousand years or more. Therefore, we found it convenient and useful to construct a model in which ends are simply not there because they don't play any role, so let's assume that they are not there. How can we make the system with no ends? It is a system of rings. So one method to approach all these problems is to spend all our working days playing with a variety of toys here. For instance, with this toy, this toy is big enough such that I can illustrate the formation of crumpled globule here. Another approach is to do computation. In our paper, we report on results from both molecular dynamics and Monte Carlo simulations. We use the longest polymers we can, and because they have long relaxation times, to do the simulations, it requires months of CPU time running on supercomputers. When the simulations finish, indeed, what we find is that the rings do segregate, just as chromosomes do in the nuclei of our cells. And we achieve this by using a very simple generic polymer model, which is completely irrespective of the chemistry. We are recording this video on December 24th, which is why we have peculiar uniform on the occasion. And we probably should have used a joke about Christmas tree instead of apple tree, but we don't know any appropriate joke.